Let's talk about these utility knives from Stinger. I'm sure you've seen these advertised all over Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the Stinger Magnetic Slider and the Stinger Godzilla Blade. Now, just looking at the advertisements, I thought these were really cool, especially this Godzilla Blade. It reminded me a lot of the CRKT Provoke in design, just with the two arms and open it super easy and you can see what i'm talking about right there with those two arms but unfortunately that's just not the case and i'll show you why in just a second so let's take a look at this stinger magnetic slider if you saw my video on the arena accessories utility blades you're going to know that i look for two things in my utility knives it has to be easily carried so it has to have a pocket clip and the blade has to be easy and convenient to change out, meaning no tools involved. This one just has a small screw that you can easily just unscrew with your thumb, replace the blade, and there's a frame lock, so it locks into place. Very nice. So let's take a look at this Stinger Magnetic Slider. First off, there is no pocket clip at all, and it's held shut by a magnet. And when you push it forward, it stops right there and there is no lock. It's basically just a magnet that holds it into place. And that magnet is right there. So there's a magnet on the inside of the body and it just stops it right there into place. Now that magnet doesn't feel too bad. It feels fairly strong right here and even when it's locked, but I still would like to have those locked into place. But like I said, there's no pocket clip, so it's not easily carried. And if I just keep pushing it out, this comes right out. But look how you have to change these blades out. There's these two screws right here that require an Allen wrench. And that Allen wrench is included right here in the package, but two of them just to change out this blade. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not really sure what's going on with the designs here on these razor blades. I think they're just trying to get too fancy with these blades, but this is how you put it back in. Just line up the tracks and it slides right back in. Oh, but it does have a glass breaker right there for whatever reason. So no pocket clip, no locking mechanism. It takes two screws to change out that blade, uh, but it has a fancy razor blade and a glass breaker. Glass breakers on tools like this are about as useless as a bottle opener. Companies will just slap on a glass breaker or a bottle opener just to call it a multi-tool. I don't need a glass breaker on this, guys. I would like to have a quick change blade and a pocket clip. And a lock would be nice because even if it did have a pocket clip, I would be afraid that this would just come loose in my pocket, even though it probably wouldn't. But let's move on to the Godzilla blade right here. This is the one I'm most disappointed in because I was looking forward to this one the most. Because look how cool this design is with these two arms that pop the blade open, like I said, very much like the CRKT Provoke. But there is so much wrong with this Godzilla blade right here. And it has a lot to do with this locking mechanism right here and the way it's deployed. But first, it does come with a pocket clip, so that is a plus. Second, there is no one-handed operation on this utility knife. I like convenience with my utility knives. Pull it out of my pocket, slide up the blade, use it, retract it, put it back in my pocket. Easy. This right here, you either have to open it like this, and then I'll show you in a minute, you have to loosen this lock up. It's silly. But there is a little thumb stud right here where you have to awkwardly hold it like this and then push open the blade. So yes, technically it does have one-handed operation, but it's just so goofy and awkward because it's still not locked into place right here. What you have to do is unscrew this lock right here and then push that in and then screw it down and make sure it's tight. Now already, if I had a classic utility knife, I'd be done using it and it would be back in my pocket by the time I did all this loosening and tightening of this goofy locking mechanism right here. But I can say that that lock is fairly strong. It's locked into place very nice. This has the same issue with changing out the blades, those two Allen screws right there. I don't like that at all. But this is the deal breaker right here. When you're done using it, you have to unlock it. And then when you close it, that locking mechanism does not lock in the blade in its closed position. And you can see that right there. It doesn't even touch the blade at all. This is as tight as I can get it. And watch, just pops right open. And that's because it's held shut by this small little detent right there. There it is. 
So it is very easily opened. So when this is in your pocket, it doesn't take much to just pop this open and then there's the exposed razor blade. This is just downright dangerous. I would never carry this. I'm not sure why they couldn't incorporate this dial lock to lock in the blade right there. But this tool is just extremely disappointing. I wanted to like this so much, but even though it is easily carried, I don't think I would ever carry this just because there is no lock and that detent is, it's there, but it's not very strong. And just those extra steps that I have to take by opening this one handed, or it's just a lot easier just to open it like this, but now I have to twist that open and lock it, cut, unlock it again. I'm doing this as fast as I can, guys. There. No thank you. So let me know what you guys think of these two tools right here, the Stinger Magnetic Slider and the Stinger Godzilla Blade.